Good afternoon, I'm Dave Canterbury with Wilderness Outfitters Archery, also home of the Pathfinder Training School. Today's video, Nature's First Aid Kit, will cover Block 8 of the Pathfinder system, which is 8 medicinal plants and herbs. We'll cover 8 different common plants of the eastern woodlands. Most of these are common throughout the United States, but very prevalent in eastern woodlands. We'll also cover charcoal as a first aid item for you that you can use from nature. If you understand these plants, know where they grow, what their habitat is, how to identify them in all four seasons, you too can create your own personal first aid kit while you're in a wilderness self-reliance situation. We're going to go over these plants one at a time and we'll go over all eight of them plus charcoal in this video, so please stay with us. Cattails are one of nature's most bountiful gifts. Their best gift in the first aid realm that we're learning about today is its antiseptic value. Okay, what we've got here is cattail we just pulled up out there and if you pull these back into the stock back here, these shoots, there's a real heavy slime that's real thick and juicy on there, especially down toward the bottom of the shoots. And that slime is just like an antiseptic ointment. You can use that on cuts, you can use it on burns, things like that. It has a slight numbing effect to it but it's a very good antiseptic ointment that you can use out of nature if you get cut. The broad leaves of the common mullein, when dried, can be used to make a tea or a wash that is both antiviral and antiseptic. It can be used not only as a cough suppressant or expectorant in a tea, it can also be used as a gargle for sore throats or a wash for minor cuts. The broad leaves of the common mullein, which are very soft and porous, can be used as natural gauze or bandages in a wilderness self-reliance situation. Dried leaves of the common mullein also make very good fire tinder. It can spark well and catch fire quickly, helping you to create charcoal or fire. The yarrow is another common plant of the eastern woodlands. It comes in both yellow and white varieties and the small feathery leaves of this plant can be easily confused with poison hemlock early in the season. Be sure to use the item method to fully identify these plants before using them. The leaves of this plant can be dried and made into a tea which will induce sweating and boost your immune system if you feel a cold or flu type symptom coming on. You can also use this plant, the whole plant, including the flower tops, as a coagulant for slightly more serious cuts and wounds. The milkweed, very easily identified by the large seed pods it produces in the summer, can be broken on the stem which will produce a white latex liquid that can be used as a topical antifungal for warts, ringworm, and other ailments that affect the surface of the skin. It should only be applied topically and should never be taken internally. The seed pods of the milkweed in the late summer and early fall when dry also make an excellent fire tinder just like the mullein leaves. The antiseptic properties of the mint family in all its varieties make a very good gargle for sore throats and a general health tonic to ease headaches and help with upset stomachs. There are several varieties of mint that grow in the eastern woodlands and I suggest that you learn to recognize them all. The jewelweed plant has antihistamine and anti-inflammatory properties making it excellent for uses on stings of all types as well as poison ivy. You can use the whole plant or make a tea as a wash. Using the whole plant just collect the plant as a whole as shown in this video and rub the plant to bear the juices on the infected area. The plantain is one of the most prolific plants in yards throughout the United States. It also grows throughout the eastern woodlands. It can be used to make a poultice for drawing compound 
to be placed on a bite or sting from a yellow jacket, a bee, a wasp, things of that nature, as well as splinters and infections from small wounds. Just mixing the leaves chewed with your saliva and placed on the skin as a poultice will do the trick. The Canadian goldenrod is another very common plant to the eastern woodlands. It is both antioxidant and diuretic, which makes the tea from this plant a very useful treatment for urinary tract infections. The tea can also be used as an antifungal mouthwash when in the woods and oral hygiene is at a minimum. Alright, we got our charcoal on our fire here. Charcoal has been used for centuries as a toxin remover from the stomach. You ingest something that you feel is making you sick or you've been poisoned, you can take some of this charcoal, mix it into your canteen cup or whatever cookware you're using at the time, mix it with water, slug it down, it tastes horrible. You just need to drink it all the way down. Of course the coals need to be cool when you do that, but just be in an area where you know you're away from your camp because everything that's in your stomach is going to come up. But that charcoal will act like a sponge and suck those poisons out of your stomach and keep them from getting into your bloodstream any further. So if you get out in the woods and you get in a situation you think you've been poisoned, you've eaten a plant you shouldn't have eaten, or some tainted meat, or some bad fish, something like that that's in your in your stomach and you feel like you're getting sick, charcoal is your best bet. And charcoal can be a good thing to have in your nature's first aid kit. This has been our video on nature's first aid kit. I appreciate your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I'm Dave Canterbury with Wilderness Outfitters Archery.